y'all it's Tiana I hope y'all are having a great day today I wanted to do something because it's kind of more fun for me and I just thought it would be interesting I kind of like watching these kind of videos and so this is going to be basically like a beauty clean out slash empties slash review I don't know what I want to do I don't know what I want to call this yet but I went through my makeup and I have this huge thing of things that need to get thrown away or I just don't use or I don't have room for or they're old anything like that and one thing y'all should know about me is that I hate cleaning out my makeup in the sense that I hate throwing these away because I just think about like how much money I spend on it and then it just makes me sick and I'm just like Ugh. so I can't tell you the last time I cleaned out my makeup section except when I threw away something that was like legit gone um so yeah this huge thing of makeup and I'm gonna go ahead and get started I'm gonna try not to make this too long but y'all know that I like to talk and ramble so we'll see first thing they just gotta go they're really old these are the Ardell glamour lashes in 105 they're super pretty like super obsessed with them I took a bunch of pictures when I were wearing these and these were like my first pair of false eyelashes that I actually like wore and they're so pretty but they're just like old and like the band is like just nasty so you just gotta go those are old I loved those those are the reason those are going is because they're old um next this is a blush from elf in the shade flush I literally got it at the dollar store it's literally lasted me a long time it's not a bad blush it's just gotta go I have lots of other blushes that I use and it's just old it's just gotta go next this is a NYX little glitter I actually stole this from my friend recently because I thought I was gonna like it it's in a silver color it doesn't have a color name and it actually is not a good glitter it like sucks it doesn't stay on okay, I'd rather use a glitter eyeliner it just sucks and it's taking up room and um, I don't have that much room for my makeup in my dorm so it's just gotta go baby lips this is in the shade strike a rose and it's like this super like electric pink don't know why I bought this but the color is just eh, gotta go this I've literally you're gonna see a bunch of these um these are like these little tart lip glosses that came in a tart beauty kit that I literally got like three years ago for Christmas for my mom I never used these I didn't like them very much like I tried it and I didn't like it and then I was just like forget it so those have just got to go they're super old and I never use them this I have another one of these in here somewhere this is a Revlon color burst like lip pencil in the shade unapologetic it's like super super bright and obnoxious and I thought I was gonna like it but I don't like it like even in the summer like it's just too bright and too obnoxious for me so that's gotta go this is from NYX it's in high a high voltage lipstick the color is actually super cool it reminds me of like a knockoff heroin from Mac it's in the color twisted um it's just gotta go and I lost the cap recently so this is the Jordana twist and shine moisturizing lip balm in this red color which is called rock and rouge and this is just not a good product. I love Jordana. I love the dang Jordana, Jordana mascara, but don't like the lip. Speaking of Jordana mascara, here, I'm throwing two of these away. This is the best lash extreme. I tell y'all I repurchase this all the time because this is the bomb.com. It's like $2 at Walgreens. Please, please, please try this because it might be your new favorite mascara. Like, it's mine. Those are just old. They gotta go. This. This makes me sick to think about throwing this away somewhere in here is the false fiber lashes part but this is the Too Faced better than false lashes nylon fat nylon lash extension system the lady at Sephora lied to me she was like this is so awesome and great no this is horrible 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 do not waste your money on this better than false lashes they come with like I wish I could find them right now I'll show you them when I get to them these like 
fibers. The fibers are white. They don't stick on. They get in your eye. I would rather buy the Unique. I would rather wear false eyelashes. I would rather not use fibers than use these. These are horrible. Please do not waste your money on these. Please, goodness. Um, this is... <laughs> Who remembers this? This is the L'Oreal Infallible... I don't know what else it was but this was in the shade Beyonce remember and then you like put this on your lips and then it like stayed on for like 10 hours and then you put this like shiny stuff this <laughs> this is hilarious to me I literally bought this my freshman year of high school on my very first homecoming I am now a freshman in college that's how long I've had this and not thrown it away isn't that sad this this palette's actually super bomb but like the eyeshadows just started breaking and it's just really old. I've had it for like a few years I feel like. And this is the Wet n Wild, oh, what the heck is this, Comfort Zone palette. I used to be obsessed with this dang shade right here. This shade was like the best of my life. I probably will repurchase this honestly because it's just so bomb. But it's just so old and there's only like three colors and like yeah it needs to go. This, I just bought this this summer and I hate it. This is the NYX Illuminator in Chaotic. I thought it was going to be super amazing. Like it looks super pretty, but it's not pigmented. It's dry. It's scratchy. I don't like the color. I just don't like anything about it and it sucks. This, I also bought this summer. NYX um, Cream Stick Blush in Tea Rose. I thought I was going to really like the color. I don't like the color that much. This formula is like dry and it drags on my skin. I don't like it at all. This is a eyeliner, I mean a lip liner. Rimmel Exaggerate in the shade Obsession. It's just like super dark. I never use it. I don't know why I bought it. I don't like it. Um, I love the product itself. I just don't like the color and it's just got to go. It's taking up room. This is super old. This is a Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. I don't even remember if I really used it. It has a nice wand. I've heard a lot of people really are obsessed with this, but it's just dry now. So, I don't know. It's just a sample. This I bought. I thought I was going to really like. It's the All May Smart Shade Butter Kiss in Red Light to Medium, and it sucks. Not pigmented at all. I don't know why I even waste my time with all my products anymore. Everything I've tried from them I don't like at all. So yeah, it just sucks. I hate it. <laughs> this, my mom, I'm pretty sure I told her I wanted this because I saw, do y'all know Vintage or Tacky? Do y'all know Cora? Um, she, this was like a couple years ago, she did a review on like this lip kit Sephora had and apparently they had like a big lip kit and a little lip kit. My mom bought the little lip kit and it came with this color. This is like Smashbox lip gloss in pout. But it's like white. Like it's not pink. It's literally not pale pink. It's literally white. Like Sephora, why would you do this? Why would this is I was so ticked when I saw this. I'm like, you've got to be kidding me. And then my mom was like, Oh, do you love it? And I'm like, Yeah, this is so great. And it the whole time I'm thinking of Sephora. Anyway, Clinique Quick Eyeliner for Eyes Intense in the shade Black. This doesn't even twist up anymore, but when it did twist up, it sucked. I don't know why I buy Clinique eyeliners. I don't like them. That was a sample, but I actually bought one that I'm not throwing away yet because I just bought it, so, but I still don't like it. Two Clinique lipsticks. This is the lipstick in Shy. It's, their lipsticks are just, like, too sheer. And, like, I just can't, like, I'm just so tired of sheer lipsticks. I don't know why. I just can't do it anymore. I don't know why. I'm sorry. Sugared Grapefruit, another one. It's just, I, well, I just, why are they so sheer? I, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'm just weird. Sorry, and I feel like I'm, like, yelling. I feel like I'm going really fast, but I don't want this to be, like, eight years. This is... Meron Celebrate Pro Cream Makeup in Medium to Dark. First of all, this is literally like grease paint is one thing you should know. Second of all, this color is not that great on my skin and it's like grease paint and I've had it for literally like three years and I've used it like two times so it's gotta go. This is the Buxom Lip Gloss which is funny because I actually really like Buxom Lip Gloss. I really like the shade Sophia. This is in the shade White Russian and it's just, mm, that's actually not as bad as I thought. Maybe I'll keep that. I just don't like it. I don't know why. What is with all these super light colors? Uh, I don't know. I'm I'm so dark. Why did I pick these guys? This is important. Or y'all. I don't mean to say guys. This is 
Urban Decay. I thought I was so cool. This was like one of my first purchases from Urban Decay. This is a pressed pigment or loose pigment or whatever it's loose pigment i don't know why i said pressed pigment i'm not gonna open it but it's in the shade gunmetal look at these do they even sell these anymore look how old you know this is from back in the day oh my gosh i feel like i'm going so slow this is elf cool eyeliner sucks 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 everyone's like oh my gosh i love the elf cool liner no it's not cool it's super hard it's black but it's super hard and this flipping smudgy this is just ridiculous it's a waste of time i would rather buy the elf liquid eyeliner than buy that do not buy that please this is the sorme get a brow brow gel this is in the shade dark brown i was like super obsessed with trying a brow gel i thought i was gonna really like it this is so old i have it was hard to open um this is first of all this is like too fat of a wand it's just like a big thick fat mascara wand it's so dark it looks tragic on me I bought it like three years ago and I used it once and I was like, oh my gosh, I can't even walk out of the house like this. This is Essence Beauty Beats Lip Gloss. I don't know where on earth I got this, but it's called Groupie at Heart, so that's a good color. But it's just like so like obnoxiously pink that it's like, what in the hey diddle diddle? Why is it so obnoxiously pink? And it's, I don't know, I just don't like the formula either. This is a little e.l.f. eyeshadow palette, not e.l.f. wet and wild. See, this is what happens when you talk too much. This is called the Naked Truth. And I really thought I was going to like these colors. And I just don't like them at all. Like, for some reason, these don't feel pigmented. And I do like Wet and Wild. So I don't know what's the deal with that. This is an e.l.f. lip gloss. Do I even need to go there? I just don't like it. This is a NYX um, lipstick in the shade Pops. It's a butter lipstick. This color is super beautiful. I just opened this on a day that it was like melty. So now it's like all melted and gross. So it's just, got, it's got to go. But it's such a pretty color. I will definitely repurchase that. Just a random chapstick. This is the e.l.f. Hydrating Under Eye Primer. I bought this. I don't know why. Um, it's not bad. I just don't use it. I don't, not that I don't like it. I just don't use it, I guess. This is the Maybelline Color Tattoo. I have another one of these in here. But this is in the shade Barely Branded. I know some people are super obsessed with this, especially if you have a really light skin tone and this like works as a paint pot for you. I used this a couple times. It's too light for my skin, so I didn't really see the point, and now it's dried out. This, I don't have any clue why I bought. This is a Maybelline eyeshadow in the shade Vanilla. It's literally just a light, shimmery white. Don't know why I bought that. And sometimes I feel like it can you can use like white stuff, but um I that's why I have my NYX jumbo pencils, so whatever. This like the writing is faded. I'm pretty sure this is from L'Oreal. It's one of these twist up lip things in the shade Innocent Coral. Again, I don't know why I repeatedly bought these crayons. I just don't really like them. I like the NARS ones, but like the drugstore ones I just don't like. They're like greasy paint sticks, basically. This is the NYX Round Lipstick in the color Femme. I just don't like it. I do not think this color is pretty. Um, I just hate it, actually. Just the color, not the product. This is super old. I feel like I've had this for 10 years. This is the Maybelline One by One Volumen Express. Do they even make this anymore? That's how old I feel like this is. This I didn't like. I didn't like the formula. This is the Circa Eyeliner Vivid Vinyl Vivid Vinyl Eyelining Liquid Black Onyx. The main thing I didn't like about this is that it was glittery. I hate glittery eyeliners unless I want a glitter. This is just gone. This is the Carbon Black Pencil Perfect Self Advancing Eyeliner by L'Oreal Paris. I actually really liked it. I used it for a long time. I do recommend this one. This is just gone. This is my favorite. I talked about this in my very first tutorial, my Stila one. This is the Rimmel Exaggerate Lip Liner in the shade Enchantment. It's the bomb. I'm pretty sure I have more in here. This I got in like a sample. This is the Makeup Forever Aqua Lip Liner in the shade 3C. I just don't like it very much and it's basically gone. I don't know. Everything I don't know. Oh, these are the dang fibers from the Too Faced. Look at this. These are just... It looks like little spider webs. Ugh. Do not buy this. That makes me so mad. Smashbox Full Exposure Mascara. I didn't like this and it was a sample and it's dry. 
This I've had for like 10 years. This is the Revlon Super Lustrous Coral Reef. Why did I buy all these dang coral colors? I thought I was had really light skin or something. I don't know. This bought, thought I would use all the time. Never, never use it. Um, Avon Color Cream Eyeshadow in the shade Hazelnut. It's just like a deep brown cream eyeshadow that I would just never use. This, again, with the name Coral Colors. This is Blushing Sequin. This is, like, so bright. Like, I was obsessed with these colors, and I never use them. Sorry, I'm trying to go fast. I have so much stuff left. This is Be A Bombshell. I'm pretty sure I got this in an Ipsy bag. It's, like, a tinted lip chapstick. I don't like it at all. This is the L'Oreal Voluminous Miss Manga. I actually really liked this. And, like, I know it's just a ploy, but I liked the fact that this brush, like, curved. I liked the brush. Like, I thought this was legit. It's just dry and old. This Peach Poppy. What? Why did I buy this? Someone explain this to me. Look how light this is. Do you like how, like, dirty my hands are from, like, grabbing all this old makeup? Um... I actually really like the dang Revlon lip butters. I just don't like this color. This is the color Peach Parfait. I just don't like it. It has like little flecks of glitter in it and like it feels like weird and rough on your lips. This I got in an Ipsy bag. I just could not even use this. Like I didn't even open it because I just was like the colors are just throwing me off so much. Nika Key New York Quad Eyeshadow. It has these four colors. Never in my life. Um, Smashbox Eye Brightening Mascara. This I actually liked. I liked this a heck of a lot better than the Full Exposure Mascara. It's just dry and old and a sample and I just don't need it. This I hated and the dang lady at Sephora told me to buy it. She's like, oh my gosh, this is so amazing and she lied. This is the dang Obsessive Compulsive Cosmetics Anti-Feathered Cosmetic Color Pencil. This didn't do a diddly darn thing for me. This Oh gosh, I do not like this. This is the Maybelline Master Prime by Face Studio Primer and Base Blur and Redness Control. I don't like it. It's sticky. It doesn't cancel my redness even though it's green. I just hate this. Oh, that was such a waste of money. This is super old. I'm pretty sure I stole it from my mom. This is a Lancome Color Focus eyeshadow with Mocha Chino and View. I'm just throwing this away because I don't, I never use it. I don't need it. What the heck? This, <laughs> I bought this as a contour color. Can you see how dark this is? I just grabbed the literal darkest color and I was like, this will work as a contour color. And it's, I had to be super light handed and it's just crumbled and I just don't like it. But I do like the Maybelline Fit Me powder. This, I used to use this as a foundation before my mom actually let me use makeup. This is the Instant Vacation Aloha Glow Face and Body, like, tanner from mark it smells super bomb this i got in an ipsy bag this is the tristique um like mini shadow crayon in the shade aspen pine why they gave you this random green color it's actually really pretty i just never use it i won't ever use it and it just needs to get thrown away because it's just been sitting there this i hated too maybelline fit me i don't know why i just hate that foundation but this one is even worse than the original this is the matte and poreless tragic this did not do a single thing for me it actually made my skin dry it made it feel gross and yeah i don't like this at all this was in the shade toffee and i oh this is the maybelline instant age rewind everyone was like talking about this i don't like it at all i feel like the color is really weird and i just don't like the formula it's like ugh, i don't know why but this is in the shade honey Alme, this actually was bomb. This is one coat thickening like waterproof mascara. It's really old. It's really dried out. This is one Alme product that I actually could probably get behind. OMG, we gotta get going, y'all. Um, color tattoo. Again, this is dry. This is an audacious asphalt. I never used it. I thought I was gonna use it. It reminds me of Gunmetal by Urban Decay. Never used it and now it's dried out and it's gotta go. Um, mini lipstick. Why do I have so many samples? This is Makeup Forever in the shade, I don't know. Rouge Artist Natural. Don't like this. And this is just like, ugh. I need to get rid of the samples. I need to stop. CoverGirl, this is super old. I used to be obsessed with this eyeshadow. It is in the shade Mink. Look how old this, like, packaging is. You know that's old. The thing is that it's, like, old. Can you see? It has, like, 
like a crust on it almost because it's so old so that's why that has to go but I did like that color this Maybelline Eye Studio eyeliner one time I bought charcoal instead of black is black and I hated it I could never use it because it just wasn't black enough and it just irritated the heck out of me so that's old this I bought this because Candy Johnson bought it and she really really liked it this is the visible lift blush in the color rose gold it just didn't like look very good on my skin and it's just like weird I don't know it I don't know it's not good for people with darker skin butter lipstick again in the shade sweet tart again I opened this on a, like a super melty day and now it's jacked up this I feel like I need to try again because everyone is like oh my gosh this is the bomb this is the bomb and I hate it like this color maybe it's the color it's so orange this is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte y'all know everyone is obsessed with this and I just hate it this is in the shade classic tan which is the shade I should be in and look how like tragic it is I I just can't with this why why does it look like that I don't know I don't know I can't do that L'Oreal true match I actually really like this it's just got to go it's just old at this point Revlon color stay quad in the shade addictive it's just got to go it's super old this I got these two together this is the posy tint from benefit and the high beam by benefit these are for white people these are for people with really light really really pale skin if you're anywhere near my skin color this will not work for you and it makes me really really sad but no not at all um l'oreal great lash love that this just kidding this is maybelline great lash but it's just dry and old but i am obsessed with it covergirl oh i'm dribbling i'm dribbling mac fix plus all over Okay, this is MAC Fix Plus Prep and Prime. This is the first little thing I ever got. It's just like a little sample size. It is the bomb. I love MAC Fix Plus. I need to buy a big one. This is the Bombshell Volume by CoverGirl. I didn't like this very much, actually. This, I was so excited to try. Hate, hate, hate it. This is the Maybelline Lash Sensational Full Fan Effect. I thought it was going to be the bomb, and it actually sucked. Sucked elf blush in the shade elf blushes are actually the bomb but this is in the shade pure twinkle pink and why did I buy this look at that why did I buy that I don't know because I was an idiot another Maybelline gel eyeliner that I really liked this is a Tarte Pure Marajuka oil I don't even know what you use this for I just know it is a sample and I've never used it and it's gotta go this is a Sorme eyeshadow um, in the shade taupe. Nothing was wrong with this. I just never, never use it, and it's got to go. Oh, my God. Look at my beauty blender. Isn't this disgusting and sad, and it's, like, ripped? Like, why have I not thrown this away? Beauty blender, loved, but it's got to go. Real Techniques is the way to go nowadays. It's just cheaper. This is a little tiny Urban Decay lipstick in the shade Naked never use this I've literally had for like four years what is wet in here this I've literally had for like four years this is a Sigma try our eyeshadow palette these three little colors this color is almost gone because I used it as my eyebrow color for like three years when I had red hair this is a Maybelline color tattoo pure pigment in the shade barely brazen which is basically barely branded and why did I buy it? It's way too light for me and I never use it. Again, I took this from my mom. This is the Lancome like four little eyeshadows. I liked it because it had matte black. That's why the matte black is gone. And then I got other things that had matte blacks in them. Okay, three more products. Oh my gosh, this video is going to be so long. This is the Resort liquid highlighter from Sigma. I don't know. I never used that ever. Neutrogena Healthy Lengths. I actually really like this mascara, but this one bottle, like, tube was like, look at the brush. Look at that. I don't know what the deal is, but yeah. And then the very last product, another Smashbox eye brightening little mascara that, remember, this is the one that I actually did like. So yeah, oh my gosh, I am cleaning out my makeup. That is all getting thrown out. Um, if you enjoy things like this, I'll talk about more stuff I throw away. I don't know, but I will see y'all in the next video. Have a great day. Bye-bye, y'all.